Hi guys, welcome to today's video. I asked you a question on Facebook and wanting to know if you'd be interested in like a mini series with the Novena palette. And lots of people said yes, it would be a great idea. Because simply, I just thought that there's so many options and so many looks in that palette. I don't want to just do one look and then put it aside and then buy something else. I think that it's really important to make the use out of what you already have. Or if you decide to go for the palette, I want you to see a few more looks with it. Um, and hopefully it's going to help you decide whether it's worth it, if it's not worth it, or what do you want to do. And I'm going to do a few more, like a mini tutorials. It's not going to be anything as long as the previous one, the first one with swatches and everything. Um, and this is the look I did for today's video, the one I'm wearing right now. I've got drink ready, puppies on the pillow, or one, one on the pillow, one on the floor. This was actually my friend's Rachel's idea. She posted on Facebook the other day about um, Prosecco and orange juice. And that's like one of my all time favorite drinks. I absolutely love it. I had no idea it's called Mimosa as well. I always knew it as Bucks Fizz. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to quickly mention that Rachel is absolutely awesome and she's got a book blog where she discusses different books, uh, writes about them and I think that she is not just an awesome person and really interesting person. She's also a great writer and her posts are just amazing. So I'll put a link below, not sponsored, but if you want to check it out, please do. I would really much appreciate that and I'm sure that she would too. But let's get back to the video. I was researching some looks which I want to do with a palette and looking for some inspiration and I thought I want to do something quite neutral every day, something you can literally wear to work because this would be my go-to work look. And I recently placed an order from Pastel Roses, small indie brand or small-ish indie brand and they are phenomenal. I ordered this three pigments. I really hope you can see it. They are just absolutely stunning. And they're like a multi-chrome glittery flake type of things. And yes, I ordered those three and my order came and it was wrapped literally like a present. It was so adorable. It had my name written on it and I just, you know how much I love personal touches like that. And they added an extra pigment, uh, this bright, bright pink one, which I can't wait to try. And then they added a sample of little peacock pigment, which is, they're like tiny little flakes in a green to purpley pink shift color thing. And that's what I'm wearing on top of my eyeliner today. So, if you want to see how I came up with a completely simple, neutral, everyday look, and then how I edit this, then watch. And if you like it, then please leave a nice comment. I would really like that. Give it a thumbs up. If you want to share the video with people, I would massively appreciate it. And yeah, without me mumbling anymore, let's get to the video. I've got my eyes primed now, ready for the eyeshadows. Again, I'm gonna be pointing what I'm using. So A4, it will be the first one. And I'll do outline, outline of the, of the eye. Gentle strokes. And again, blending is the key. No eyeshadows are gonna look nice unless they are nicely blended. And because the eyeshadows are so pigmented, I'll do a little bit and then I'll be adding to it. Every time you put eyeshadows on, try to aim up rather than straight or down. Because if you st aim straight or down with the eyeshadows, 
it's gonna make your eyes look a bit sad and your outer corners will optically go down. So to make your eyes a bit happier and more open and nicer to look at, just always go up with your eyeshadows. Next one, actually I'll use the same brush and I'm gonna go in with B5, this gorgeous color. It's like a taupey, gray, browny, beige, beautifulness. Now go in the outer corner, about one third of the eyelid. And again, I'll be aiming up a little bit with it. And then blend. If you feel like there's any harsh line or the shape is not the way you want it to be, just blend. I'll take a clean brush and I blend the outside of this. It's exactly the same one from Real Techniques. I've got quite a few. They're amazing. So that's the two colors. Next one is gonna be, yeah. Next one is gonna be B4. Beautiful rose goldy kind of color. And I'll put it just out here on the overlap of the Toby color and my eyelid, my bare eyelid. And I just keep it on the eyelid I don't go above the crease at all. Next color is gonna be A5. I'm using the same brush because these two colors are gonna blend together anyway. And with A5, I'll go in front of this color I literally just used, again, just on the eyelid, not above. If you want more intense payoff of the color, like I think that is doing pretty well. I don't need it anymore. But if you do want more intense color and more intense shine, just wet your brush. You can use um, water in the spray bottle and it will do the job. Last color is gonna be C1. So I'll go with C1 in the very inner corner. And again, I'm just keeping it on the eyelid. You can use all these colors. You can just use one or two completely up to you. You don't have to use all of them. And I'll do an extra dab in the inner corner. And that's pretty much the portion of the eyeshadow done. I'm gonna go in with eye pencil at the bottom. I didn't say what I'm using, did I? I am using Stila eyeshadow, no eyeshadow, Stila eye pencil in the shade Lionfish, I think. Yes, it's the smudge stick waterproof eyeshadow. And I'm going just underneath my lower lash line. You don't have to be super precise with it. Just be gentle. And then I'll smudge it with a brush. This part doesn't have to be super polished. It's literally just to give the eye a bit more dimension. And because it's not in your waterline, it's not gonna make your eye look a bit more closed. It will still look nice and open. Now, as it is, you can just check a mascara on and off you go, you can be done. But like I said in the intro, we are gonna add something a bit more extra. I'm gonna use this Bobbi Brown eyeliner. It doesn't really matter which color you use as such. I'm using the cobalt ink one, which is dark blue. 
yeah it's like a really dark blue eyeliner and I'm gonna use my trusted Kiko brush as well if you haven't seen the video on how I do a winged eyeliner I would highly recommend you go and watch it it has a lot of useful tips and tricks how to do that so shorter version today I'm gonna cover the brush and do a winged eyeliner There's the eyeliner done. And now we're gonna take this beautiful, gorgeous, amazing shade from Pastel Roses. It's got a tiny little sifter as well. So I'll get some out and get my Diddy brush, which I got from Lit Cosmetics in my order. And I'm gonna take the Lit Daily Wear adhesive. Now I'll dip in a tiny bit. Oh, there we go. And go in the pigment and then put it on top of the eyeliner I've just done. I have no idea how it shows on the camera, so hopefully you can see something. It's quite a faff to do this bit, I have to admit. But the final effect is so worth it, guys. So there's the eyeliner finished. I really hope that you can see the shift of the colors. It's so pretty. I'm quickly gonna do the other eye, put eyelashes on, and I'll be right back. This is the finished look. I put some mascara on. I used the Marc Jacobs one again, the one I use all the time and love. And I put some lip gloss on as well. I used the Jeffree Star, the gloss. And this is it. What do you guys think? 
it's gonna look differently in different light in different angles because the pigment is a duochrome so it's gonna look either green or pinky purple I really like the look and I hope you do too I would really like to know if you have a favorite indie brand because lately I've been loving supporting indie brands or small brands rather than big ones ignore the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette uh, and I'm so impressed with them I'm so impressed with the products I'm so impressed with um, how personal these brands are I find it really touching and I love it and it makes me want to support them even more so if you have anyone who you support or you want me to check out it could be makeup it could be anything else just please let me know leave a comment down below I would really like to know and have an awesome day bye